What's good, y'all? What's good? Got a lot of content I got to bring y'all, man. Like, this Julio Julio update. Man, it's crazy, man. Like, I got to check it out. It's disturbing, you know. Um, It's not a good look on your knees. They're talking about a Rico. Like, they're talking about a Rico. And from what I'm hearing, the three that's locked up, the yellow people, the light skinners, they're talking. Man. And you got one cousin that's locked up, the other one's on the loose. Like, I already know they ain't saying that. They saw it and they sitting back watching like, man, why in the world did I get into this? Like, why? It's crazy, man. I don't know. I don't know. But everything's going to be coming out, man. A lot of updates. I got some clips I need y'all to check out, man. Um, it's crazy. Unfortunate, man. That's why I'm talking like this in this video, man. You know what? I'm, I'm going to let y'all see this stuff, man. Y'all check this out. Let me know what y'all think. Appreciate all the love, man. Keep commenting. Subscribing. I'm going to try to comment and go back. Check everybody's, man. Like, Appreciate the love, man. Love y'all, man. Appreciate it. Since nobody want to say it, I'm going to say it. The Black Gremlin, a.k.a. Julio Fulio, was pronounced dead and allegedly got killed. But my thing is... Where is his funeral? Like the man was rich. He had bands. He had diamonds. He had grills. He had it all. So you can't tell me he couldn't afford a funeral because that will be cap. Am I, am I tripping? Like where is his funeral? Where is his gravesite? Where is the information on his funeral? I haven't heard nothing about his funeral. All we know is he's dead. Quote unquote. If my math is mathing, this situation looks a little fishy. But guess what? The truth will come out. And if the Black Gremlin, aka Julio Fleo, is really dead, then that's a problem. Because y'all can post on this man's account and make bands and money off of him and doing promo deals off his account and stuff like that. But y'all can't formulate a funeral? Y'all can't give him his own gravesite? What? Like, y'all can't have a celebration of his life if he's really dead? Something's not adding up, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Florida rapper Young and Niece is going viral for his response in a 20v1 where he took the opportunity to troll dead nemesis Julio Fulio. The question asked was, what was the last thing that you invested in? Him and the rest of ATK decided to giggle and chuckle about it as if it was a joke. What's the last thing you invested in? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, dog. Come on, man. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's what I said. Okay. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Like, do y'all make a lot of investment? Yeah, too. Bruh. I'm going to tell you like this, young and niece. This shit not funny no more. The man did. When he was alive, yes, he trolled you. Yes, he got on your nerves. Yes, he made you seem like the inferior nemesis. Accept it. Take it. Allow that man to rest in peace, young and ace. This shit needs to stop. Now, as a grown-ass man, as a 30-year-old man, I look at these kids and I feel so bad for their parents, for their children, for the people that surround them. Because at the end of the day, you acting as if you fiending and dying to go to jail. Hey, feds, come get me. I did it. I put the money on his head. I'm the reason he dead. Even Julio Fulio ain't do it like that.
I'm not saying who right and wrong in this situation, but what I am asking is for Young and Nisa and ATK to stop antagonizing the dead. Allow the dead to rest in peace. Leave that man alone. This shit ain't funny. This shit ain't cool. Y'all wouldn't get in the room with no grown ass men and push these narratives. You couldn't look no grown men in their eyes and continue to bullshit about these type of matters. You gonna be checked and corrected instantly. That was easy. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about Young and they still trolling Julio Fulio even in his debt. It's your boy OG Cayano. For more content like this, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out here. The dude is talk. Like the lady said, watch. Event for us because these, uh, as we go further, we're going to look into their lives and see what they've been up to completely, mm -hmm. and um, I'm sure we'll we'll be able to turn up some things that show us that we have the right people in custody to make sure that we keep them in custody and stop them from leaving, um, causing trouble on our streets. Right, you said five. There's one more out there. That's you believe correct. you're closing in on him as well? Yes. All right. So Davion, if you're Shouldn't watching, be very long. just you don't turn believe. yourself in. The yeah. best thing, what I would say is, turn yourself in. Um, that way we can do this without incident, without any issues. Uh, we've been successful in, in doing that so far. Right. Um, everyone's been brought into custody safely. And that's our ultimate goal, right, to bring them in safely. So I would suggest that you turn yourself in and come back to uh, come back, come to Jacksonville, come to JSO headquarters and turn yourself in. Let's let us have a discussion. Yeah, I mean, you can hear those officers. They're like, Rashad, we know you're in there. Yeah. Just come out. You yeah. know, they're really plating for a, a good outcome with the arrest. And that appears to have happened. So thank you. Turn yourself in. I'm telling you this right now. Turn yourself in, Davion Murphy. Okay, because they looking high and low. And I know you ain't got no money to leave the country. You look like a felon. I know you can't get no passport to leave the country. So you're fucked up. You got to turn yourself in right now. Because you're going to do a life sentence. You don't want to go to jail. You took a life. But you got to do the crime. This is what happened. When you don't stay in school, you go to jail, or you're gonna die to the streets. Hit that like button, man. Let me know what you think about the whole situation, man. They also located a loose 9mm barrel and a loose firing pin belonging to a Glock. The barrel and firing pin were determined to come from a Generation 5 9mm Glock. Ultimately, neither the pistol found in the car or the loose barrel, and firing matched the casing recovered from the homicide. The spent rifle casings found in Sean Gathright's vehicle did have a presumptive match to two prior shootings. One of the shootings was a homicide on May 23rd, in close proximity to a girlfriend of defendant, Isaiah Chance, in Jacksonville. The second shooting was a prior attempt on the life of Julio Fulio. On June 27th, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office executed a co search warrant in relation to this homicide on the house of Isaiah Chance. Present at Isaiah Chance's house during the execution of the search warrant was his current girlfriend, Alicia Andrews. During their search warrant, JSO observed in plain sight items of evidence that appeared could possibly be linked to the homicide in Tampa, to include a Glock 9mm pistol with an extended magazine, a box to a Generation 5 Glock 9mm firearm, and notes detailing Glock switches in a notebook. JSO detectives also observed a poster of a drawing with fists making a thumbs down symbol and the words bully down hanging on Chance's bedroom wall. JSO detectives indicated they knew from their intimate knowledge of the rivalry between the ATK and Six Block gangs was a diss to the victim, Julio Fulio. On June 27th, JSO simultaneously executed a search warrant at Sean Gathright's house in reference to one of their own homicide investigations. The scope of their search included any firearms related items. During that search inside of Sean's house, in a gun safe, they located multiple rifles with at least one equipped with a brass catcher, consistent with the one seen on camera being used in the homicide of Julio Fulio. Two 9mm spent casings were also found in the same safe as the rifles. The spent 9mm casings found in Sean's safe were a presumptive match to the 9mm spent casings found at the scene of the homicide and attempted homicides that occurred on June 23rd, providing a link between Gathright and the Glock pistol used at the scene of the murder and motive evidence for previously trying to kill the victim Charles Jones. With the amount of evidence recovered, it's safe to say that police have enough information and evidence to place these suspects in prison for a long time. What everyone is expecting to see happen is Sean Gathright's girlfriend, Alicia, snitch on him to lower her own sense. We'll have to wait and see what happens when the trial starts. But as always, thanks for watching. Now let's talk about something. This is a second video I'm doing about take shots, but it's really about the whole ATK and KTA. This for all y'all in Jacksonville right now. Them folks is coming fast. They coming fast. Now, when I went to Tampa, Florida, 
and I'm chilling in the scene where Fulio died. I'm speaking to the witnesses there. I know you guys knew some of these things already, but when you're a credible journalist, you still have to go to the scene and confirm things. We we knew some of these things already just based on people speculating and talking. I went there to confirm everything, but I confirmed something specifically that they haven't shared on the news. You're going to claim you know that, but what about the pregnant woman that almost died? Right. That's what hasn't been shared. It's probably been shared at during the Tampa's uh, um, town hall meeting that they had after Fulio got killed. Now, what's going on is there's a lot of people who said when Fulio got killed in that area in Tampa, down by Bruce B. Downs, and you keep going further. When that situation happened, there was a lot of people saying it's, it couldn't be no indictments because it's a regular shooting. It was not a regular shooting. People said there was nobody else in harm's way. Nobody got hurt, my nigga. The rounds that I showed you, the projectiles and all that, and where they went and everything, I followed them. I followed the breadcrumbs. I looked at who actually was almost a victim of, because when you see an extra round go through a glass, your mindset is like nobody would have get hurt. These are just regular situation at a, a, a safe area. No, it wasn't. It hit the window where a pregnant woman was at, and she had just dug down a little bit and turned around, and that bullet went flying through. We got all that through the witnesses speaking to us at the Ashmoon Hip Hop Live platform while we're physically there. That's not information any of you guys knew, so quit lying all the time. She didn't want to tell most people about it besides detectives from Homicide Division. Factual. I'm giving you guys this exclusive. I'm letting you know the indictments are coming. Every single one of you guys always have some weird reaction when these indictments happen. When these recos come out about, everybody want to be like, ooh, as if it's a shocker. Ladies and gentlemen, you put regular civilians in harm's way, not only at the Home 2 Hotel Suites by Hilton, not only the La Quinta Hotel, you put people in harm's way, not only the Holidays Inn, not only the citizens in Tampa, all through Jacksonville, there has been multiple civilians who have been killed through this alleged KTA, you feel me, ATK rivalry. I'm, I don't like saying none of those names. Let's just say Jacksonville real step in action going on. It's been a lot. There's been four-year-olds that's been hit up. There's that 16-year-old girl going to prom who's been hit in the whip because her brother is affiliated. We can keep going. What about the lady two down over from such and such mom I ain't going to get into who got hit in the leg? But y'all don't follow these reports. These are buildups that's been going for the last decade. This is not something that they woke up and said, let's go fire, fire, and five for five for it. Nah, it ain't none of that. I'm trying to stain something. You little dudes are going to have to be on the defense now, not on the offense. And what's messed up about it, people are really picking sides between Fulio or Young and Ace. And I don't know who did what. I, for all I know is Ace is innocent, Fulio is innocent, but not to them folks. Do you feel like the Young and Ace Fulio shit, it could ever come to an end? Because it's so much money being made. It's so much shit that, it's so much talent in Jacksonville, but y'all can't even perform there. You know, with certain clubs that won't even let y'all go there that, I've seen on the internet. Do you feel like that that war or the differences could ever come to an end? Or is it too much blood already shed already? I feel like some things you just got to wait and see. Time heals everything, basically. I wouldn't say time heals everything, but Time will always tell. You'll see how shit play out. Might end. Might don't never end. Yeah. 